White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany absolutely humiliates the mainstream media as she destroys far-left Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. In this video, we're going to take a look at the epic takedown by Kaylee of one of the darlings of the ultra-left. And we're going to see how that takedown utterly destroyed the racist narrative so dishonestly pushed by our left-wing activists disguised as journalists. You're going to absolutely love this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you, coming to you from beautiful Outer Banks in North Carolina. I'm here with my family. We're having a wonderful time. We'll be here all week, but I am getting up nice and early to span the headlines and see what trouble we can get into together. So I plan to be making videos for you throughout the week, and we've got a great one today. Now, first, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor of this video, and that's the makers of this awesome motion detector, ultra bright solar Nightlight. Now you can install it anywhere because it's wireless and you never need to worry about buying batteries because it's solar powered with a high powered battery storage pack. And it's equipped with motion detectors and becomes an entertainment light for the patio and the barbecue with just a click of a button. And you know those motion detectors? Well, they offer very effective deterrence against burglars. And best of all, you don't have to spend a fortune for any of it. If you click on the link below right now, you'll save 52% off as well as free shipping. So what could possibly be better? Do not wait. Click on that link below or visit www.nightsolarlight.com and bring to light the dark spaces in your home today. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. Now, if you don't know just how awesome White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany is, uh, she's just, she's a, this is a sample of what the mainstream Marxist media have to deal with. Check it out. CNN's Chris Cuomo said, show me where it says protesters are supposed to be peaceful. Um, well, I'd point him to the First Amendment where it says that you have the right to, quote, peaceably assemble. He should go back and read the Constitution. I think, um, you know, you're asking the wrong question. The right question is where did, where did the data... Where did, and, I, and I answered question. your question once, but if you ask it twice, it doesn't make it any better of a question. And did anyone take it upon themselves to pose any questions about Michael Flynn and un unmasking the President Obama's spokesperson? Oh, not a single journalist has posed that question. You know, I was asked probably 12 questions about the Confederate flag, and I'm a little dismayed that I didn't receive one question on the deaths that we got in this country this weekend. Not one question. I didn't receive one question about five children who were killed. The president say to parents out there who are now going, okay, what do I do with my kids? Yeah, the president has said um, unmistakably that he wants schools to open. Uh, the science should not stand in the way of this. Of course we can do it. Everyone else in the Western world, our peer nations are doing it. The science is on our side here. So obviously she's awesome, right? She's precisely the kind of press secretary we would want. She's a great extension of Trump's war on the swamp on the Washington, D.C. establishment. And so... What's been going on of late, as I'm sure you know, is that President Trump, along with Attorney General Bill Barr, have been launching what they're calling Operation Legend. It's uh, being used to tackle violent crime throughout the country. Trump is deploying federal law enforcement officials, U.S. Marshals and the like, in cities across the country to do the job that these feckless left-wing mayors and governors refuse to do. Now, remember, what makes these race riots so unprecedented is not their violence or destruction. Unfortunately, we've seen that before. Just think of the Freddie Gray riots in Baltimore, the Michael Brown riots in Ferguson, the 1968 riots. Now, what makes these riots so unprecedented is that left-wing mayors and governors deliberately abdicated their law enforcement authority and responsibility and turned over their, seed, their cities to these looters and rioters. That's what makes this so shocking and unprecedented. And so we're seeing in cities like Portland, federal law enforcement officers using unmarked vehicles to basically drive up to protest suspects in the city and start detaining them and then driving off. And this is according to the Oregon Public Broadcasting that we talked about last week. It's further being reported that men in green military fatigues are patrolling around the city and making mass arrests, which is striking terror among uh, the protesters and demonstrators there. So the Trump administration is restoring law and order in the midst of these feckless left-wing mayors and governors. And so it's in this context that Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany has started to take on one of the worst mayors in the nation, not the planet, 
and that's the ultra-left Trump-hating Lori Lightfoot of Chicago. Now, during a press briefing a couple of days back, Kayleigh McEnany was asked to respond to President Trump's comments that more whites are killed by police officers than blacks. Uh, but the reporter said that disregards statistics that show that a higher percentage of blacks per capita, per percentage of their population, are killed by police. And that this heckler disguised as a reporter just asked the gotcha question, if President Trump won't acknowledge this disparity, then how is he going to effectively solve this injustice? Here's what Kaylee said. She said that when you look at unarmed killings with police interactions in this country, you had nine unarmed black individuals who were fatally shot. You have 19 unarmed white uh, people shot. So, and she pointed out that those numbers have actually come down since the Obama administration that were in the high 50s. So that's what President Trump was focusing on. And she's right, by the way. The scholar Heather McDonald has documented that police shootings account for a larger percentage of white and Hispanic homicide deaths than black deaths. In violent apprehensions, about 12% of whites and Hispanics that police try to arrest end up getting shot to death, whereas only about 4% of blacks who police are trying to arrest end up getting killed. So she's right. Ironically, Police officers are at a higher risk of actually being shot by a black assailant than the other way around, according to FBI data. 40% of all cop killers were black, 2.5 times higher than the rate blacks are shot by police. But then Kaylee went on to point out that blacks are infinitely more likely to be murdered by other blacks than they are by a white police officer. And again, she's absolutely right on this. So for example, Statistics from the year 2015 found that half the homicides in our nation were committed by and against black people. There are 14,000 homicides and half of them were black victims and 96% of those black victims were killed by black assailants. Black on black crime is one of the worst scourges in our nation. Black men and women for that matter, by the way, are infinitely more likely to be killed by another black person than they are by a white police officer. But then, Kaylee took on one of the worst political examples of this imploding social order, and that's Chicago. And she said that this mayor of Chicago, who's overseeing one of the worst plagues of murder and violence in the city's history, this ultra-left Lori Lightfoot, She's a derelict mayor who needs to step up and ask for federal help because she's doing a very poor job at securing her streets. Well, that prompted Lightfoot to respond with a tweet. Hey, Karen, watch your mouth. <laughs> Karen being a reference to a middle-aged white woman who supposedly uses her privilege, her white privilege, to police everyone around her. So, Karen, watch your mouth was Lightfoot's best response, which is pretty pathetic to say the least. And so Kaylee wasn't having it. So take a look at how she responded to Lightfoot. Yeah, my, my response is that I'm very upset about the violence in the streets of her city. You know, she's focused on words, but instead she should be focused on action because, you know, right now, uh, this weekend, what we'll see is uh, hopefully not, but what we've routinely seen are double digit numbers of people dying in her city. So she needs to focus on securing her streets. I understand the truth hurts. The president's written her a letter and offered her help, and she needs to take it because it's inexcusable when children die in the st Democrat run seat streets of Chicago. Uh, Mayor Light, Light, uh, Mayor Lightfoot, Lightfoot excuse me, yeah. should be focused on that. Lightweight, Lightfoot, whatever Lightweight. you want to call it. Now, this is what makes the Trump administration so amazing. Okay, the left-wing Marxist media is trying to spin a thoroughly Marxist narrative that we live in a nation characterized by systemic racism, which is the reason why so many blacks are socially and economically oppressed. The Trump administration, by contrast, shows, they actually show, that the reality is that urban populations are oppressed by incompetent left-wing mayors who use this white supremacist rhetoric to deflect well-deserved blame for their own ideological administrative incompetence. I've never seen another Republican administration so willing to tell the truth as the Trump administration. I have never seen a Republican even come near coming out and saying, you know, our cities are cesspools, 
They're rat-infested cesspools overseen by Democrats who are solely responsible for that societal rot. Everything, everything about our cities are run by Democrats, right? Just take a look at Baltimore, for example. The time of the Freddie Gray riots a couple of years back, the city was at least 50% black in population. The city council is 100% Democrat. The majority of the city council is black. The top cop was black. The number two cop was black. The majority of the command staff was black. The mayor was black. The AG was black. And the mainstream Marxist media wants to blame it all on white racism. I mean, it's absolutely absurd. And it's absolutely wonderful to see the Trump administration call this BS out. And at the very least, stand for sanity in the midst of our insane Marxist political class. Well done, Kaylee. Now, before you go, you'll definitely want to check out my video I just uploaded on a federal judge's son getting shot and killed and her husband critically wounded just days after the judge was assigned a case related to the notorious Jeffrey Epstein. It's very, very intriguing, to say the least. So make sure to click on the link, and I will see you over there. God bless.